Hey picklers, if you enjoyed this instructional video, do me a favor, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on. Okay guys, first drill here for levels 2.5 and 3.0. We are working on a top spin push dink. Uh, in order for us to work on the fundamentals, in order for us to um, really get the technique down and, and understand how to properly uh, add some top spin on a push dink, um, we're gonna do it from a very stationary drill. So first drill, you're gonna be tossing and hitting, okay? Um, or you're gonna bounce and hit for yourself. Um, okay, so, so what's gonna happen here is that I have cones lined up, um, I have cones lined up in the pressurized zone. So just to kind of give you an idea, here's our kitchen, uh, kitchen seven feet. Here's our three and a half foot line that breaks the kitchen in half. Let's call this the shallow zone, this three and a half foot zone in here, this little alleyway, call that the shallow zone. Okay, this is our neutral zone. And then if you see where my cones are positioned here, this little foot alleyway right in front of the kitchen line there, that is called the pressurized zone. As I'm uh, working on this first progression, as I'm working on this first drill, my job isn't to be aiming at the cones, more so I'm just looking to um, hit my top spin push dink in that pressurized zone. Okay, so aiming for depth and aiming for like a foot in front of the kitchen there. Also too, working on the correct technique. Um, so I'm letting the ball sit on the apex. I'm letting the ball sit on the apex and I am giving the back of the ball a, a, a little tiny kiss. I am just caressing the back of the ball, giving it a little soft tissue massage. Okay, I would call this overcreating. I would call this overcreating. Okay, know that less is a lot more. You don't have to put a lot into it. Uh, and, and, and know that as you're hitting a push dink here, I'm not aiming for pace. I'm more so aiming to put the ball in these uncomfortable spots that forces my opponent to either feel indecisive or forces them to feel pressure because I'm forcing them to deal with balls in these uncomfortable areas, okay? Again, 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 I'm just kissing the back of the ball. If we were to pull out our clock again, as we're hitting this top spin push dink, I want you starting at four o'clock and then just finishing at two. Starting at four, finishing at two, okay? Um, know that a little bit of spin goes a long ways. In that exercise, let's hit five to 10 and then let's switch sides. Okay guys, now we're gonna run it uh, going the other way. So now I, I'm on the left side of the court. Um, I am working on uh, dropping and hitting top spin backhand push dinks, okay? Um, I would say that I, that I use my uh, backhand uh, top spin push dink uh, probably 20% of the time. I usually like to slice a bit more. That makes more sense to me. It's more comfortable to me. Um, why? Also is because when I'm at the uh, baseline and I'm hitting third shot drops, I'd rather uh, use my slice backhand drop, I feel like, just with like the positioning of my wrist, uh, I have better consistency. Uh, I just all in all, I, I, you know, I, uh, I'm just m much more comfortable with being offensive on my backhand side from a slicing standpoint versus versus topspin. Um, but we're gonna we're gonna work on this here. Same thing. I'm gonna bounce for myself. Let the ball come to the apex. Bounce for myself. Let the ball come to the apex. Um, I would say that I'm that I'm catching the ball at nine o'clock now, finishing at like eleven or finishing at twelve. I'm just kind of kissing and going up the back of the ball. Okay, again, again, again. Okay, I'm, I'm just getting that little bit of roll um, going on. Um, know that topspin makes the ball go up and down. Okay, beautiful. Same thing, I'm not aiming for the cones. I'm more so just trying to find that pressurized uh, foot zone uh, right in front of the kitchen there. So now we're going to be uh, using topspin in this drill setting. Um, so what's going what's to take place here is that we're going to be dinking back and forth. We are both looking to be offensive with that topspin push dink, um, but we're only looking to be offensive with, with our push dink when we have time, when we're stable in the correct location, when the ball is in yellow. Uh, just keep in mind that when you're using that push dink that uh, all the little pieces have to be there. Make sure that, uh, that your preparation and your, um, and your organization is like a math equation. Things have to be correct from start to finish. Okay. Um, in this drill setting, so we're both looking to push when necessary. Uh, we are also looking to use a, a reset dink when we get pulled out in the outside quadrant. This is the outside quadrant. Also two, 
um, on this side over here, this is the outside quadrant. I would say a common tendency with higher level dinking is that we get pulled out of position and we want to look to reset that ball back cross court versus reset it back in the middle, okay? Um, so dinking back and forth, looking to be offensive, using that top spin push dink, and then resetting when we get pulled out, of, uh, when we get pulled out in the outside quadrant. And then also too, if we get pulled wide enough and the ATP is available, you can look to hit, uh, you, you can you can look to hit the ATP. Okay, Jim, you ready here, buddy? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Okay, dinking back and forth. Okay, resetting back in the middle. Okay, there we go. Start working my top spin push out of the air or off the bounce. Okay. Jen, that is very nice of you. Very nice of you. Okay. Okay, resetting back in the middle. Move him around. Up, up, up. Reset back in the middle. See that there? Anytime that I'm on my back foot, Anytime that my feet are still moving, I probably shouldn't be hitting a push sink, okay? That should always result in a lifting. Sorry, that's my fault, sorry. Thank you. Look at those wheels. Push, push. Okay, I'm just kissing the outside edge of the ball. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, let's go other side here. Okay, ready here. Same drill, other side, top spin, push, dink. Okay, taking some out of the air when I can. Okay, here we go, off the bounce. Reset back in the middle. Reset back in the middle. And start moving him around. Okay. Ah, oh, that's a good ball, nice. Top spin. Top spin push, ATP, hey, 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 you don't take that away from me, man, God, dang it. No, no, I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, get out of here. It's an instinct, uh, shadow, uh, yeah, forehand, uh. So we're, I'm being very selective on the, on the ball that I push and that I lift. As you can see in that exercise, just uh, when I'm not working with a whole lot of time and I'm, and I'm half volleying or I'm making contact outside of my bubble here and I'm scrambling, I'm always looking to lift back. Um, we're only really looking to push when we're stable, when we have enough time, when the preparation's there. Um, so I'd say be very selective uh, um, in this category. Okay guys, second drill here. Um, we're gonna be alternating feet. I will be the designated uh, top spin pusher. Uh, uh, Coach Jim here will be the uh, designated uh, lifter. Okay, so we're gonna do this both ways, both forehand side, and, or I guess both on the right side and the left. Um, but alternating feet with me pushing, I'm gonna give myself some more time, take a step back, look to, look to massage the ball, um, but I'm, I'm uh, staying in the realm of stable location yellow uh, and I'm finding ways to be offensive with my top spin push dink. Okay, R rock and roll, you ready here? Okay, alternate feet, alternate feet. Okay, so I'm, so I'm going outside foot, outside foot. Okay, inside foot, outside foot. Okay, in, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, here we go. So inside foot. Okay, outside foot, inside foot, rolling, outside foot, just kiss, kissing the outside edge. Good. Okay, here we go, no worries. I guess you are allowed to miss every now and then. Okay, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. Okay. You know, also too, if there's a ball in my armpit, I should be able to keep that ball in there. I'm not getting overextended. Okay, I'm just giving the ball a little soft tissue. Okay getting the ball to go down a little bit. I'm trying to aim for that pressurized zone, which uh, is like a foot from the kitchen line. I may take some of these out of the air too. Out of the air. Okay, here we go, ball coming wide. Okay, here, get there, get there, get there. Out of the air. All right, all right, love it. Okay, switch sides here, Jim. Switch sides, same idea. 
So as I'm doing this, I'm also going to be working on my inside out dink. So, you know, forehand to the outside foot, forehand to the inside foot, and then, uh, then I'll probably hit some on my backhand as well. I, I usually in this, in this exercise, I guess, uh, with this spin, with this select spin, I usually don't roll the, the backhand dink all that much. Um, I usually only roll it out of the air, not so much off the bounce. So um, I'm just going to add a little variety here, mixing some different stuff. Um, but uh, same, same idea, Jim's going to be lifting, I'm going to be pushing, alternating feet here. Okay, going middle, wide, okay, middle, okay, wide, middle, okay, wide, here we go, get, get the forehand working, baby, okay, inside out, okay, okay, basket, basket, <laughs> Get ready here, okay? Inside out, give myself time. A little inside in, again, inside out. Okay, good, Jim's doing a good job of taking some balls out of the air. Okay, roll, out of the air, roll, out of the air, roll, out of the air, roll. Uh-huh, buy myself a little time. Buy myself a little time. And as I'm rolling, I'm gauging how much of the ball I should really be kissing. You know, if I, uh, if I have a lower ball in my red zone, I'm probably kissing the back, you know, like 10%, right? If I have a ball up a little higher, I'm probably catching the back 20, back 30. So I'm gauging how much I should touch the ball based on the location. Let's go a couple more here, Jim. Good. Okay, I'm trying to find that pressurized zone. Oh, and then, and then after this, uh, we would make sure to alternate. Jim would be the pusher, I would be the lifter. As a lifter, more so, you're just making the pusher look good. You're, you're giving him time so, so he can uh, use that top spin push. But also, too, you are working on your direction, you're, you're working on your spots, um, you're working on just keeping the ball down, moving laterally. Okay guys, uh, next drill here. Uh, this is gonna be uh, catered to higher levels here. Um, so we're gonna alternate feet, uh, both using topspin push, trying to hit pressurized dinks. And honestly, we're more so just trying to push each other around here while being offensive with, with the topspin dink. Whether it's taking balls out of the air, taking, ball, taking balls off the bounce. Um, but we're trying to, be, uh, trying to be offensive with our topspin push and we're alternating feet and we're gonna go both ways cross. All right, Jimmy, let's do it, buddy. Okay, ready here, left foot. Okay, again, left foot. Oh, man. Okay, sorry, here we go. See, I'm taking that one out of the air. Honestly, this, this drill should more so be, be wrapped around this, this drill really should pertain to who can move less and be offensive, right? Who can, who can move less, be a bit more efficient with their movement, take more balls out of the air. Yeah, I think that's the, that's the main mission statement here. Here we go. Nice, good. Nice. Yeah. So, so great example there. Uh, uh, you know, that, that ball was outside of Jim's semicircle. He was scrambling, he was stretching. Instead of him reaching and casting, he could be taking a little crossover step, stand a little tighter towards the ball, okay? I'm sure, I'm sure that's Jim's first time ever doing that. <laughs> it got me. Thank you. Hey, buddy. Still thinking about that. <laughs> Nice. Good. Good, nice, good. All right, don't miss that one. Uh, slam that on. It's pretty high. Pretty high. Again, again, again. Here we go, a couple more here. There we go. Nice, okay. Feet in the correct position. Also, too, as I'm hitting this, sorry. Uh, as I'm hitting this, this topspin push, 
Yes, yes, I am taking some balls out of the air, but when I am letting them bounce, I'm making sure that I'm like being explosive out of my first step, getting myself prepared and getting myself in a position where um, I can really start uh, uh, gaining more space and, and, and really being fine-tuned with my footwork that will allow me to be aggressive with that dink. Same thing here, backhand side. Uh, uh. Okay, here we go. Okay, good. Working the forehand. See how I'm, see how I can just kind of stay in control there with with the forehand, but I can only stay in control and put my and pull myself out of position if I hit my spots. Because I'm, Jim, I'm gonna have you back in there. Because this this dink when I'm pulled out of position is very different than me being pulled out of position and giving Jim a high ball and then Jim, if you don't mind showing us, okay. punch that baby down the middle. So if I'm gonna pull myself out and leave my partner vulnerable and put us in this one versus two scenario, I've gotta do enough with that dink and still be on the offense. Uh, yeah, and, and so, and, and then just keep coming back to the middle yeah, too. Yeah, 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 you're fine. Back yeah, here. Okay. Yeah, middle. middle okay. yeah, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. 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 Yeah, yeah, again, a few more here. Okay, work the footwork, get my feet in the correct position. Yeah.